Hi guys. Uh, recently we've seen some discussion on the forums about uh, battery sag, so we thought we'd jump in the fray and show you guys how we manage it. Now, for those of you who are not too familiar with battery sag, um, it's basically the, the drop in the voltage of the battery pack when it's subject to a load. Now, if, we're more, if you want more details, I can put the links in the description to people who have described this a lot better than what I have. So, uh, go check it out. So, the most critical thing about a battery sag is if your pack is already you know, below, in, close to empty, for example, and you request a lot of power from it, then potentially the voltage can drop to below the safe sort of cutoff, the low voltage cutoff. And in the case that you have a battery management system, a BMS, it could cause the battery pack to completely cut power. And so if you're riding a board, it can just cut out. Or if you don't have a BMS, then even, you know, it's not very good for the battery. It can drop below the, uh, the low voltage cutoff and potentially permanently damage your pack. Today, we're gonna do two tests, one on bench and one going out to riding. So to start off, we have our battery. We're gonna use our smaller pack, so the, the, the worst case scenario, so to speak, for SAG. This is about 550 uh, watt hours. This is our custom made, good old battery pack. Now this is capable of drawing up to about uh, 10 kilowatts, and we put the fans there because otherwise the surface is hot enough to fry an egg. To be clear, every one of these packs that we get from our supplier has already been tested and they've passed quality control. Having said that, we still like to be doubly sure because you know you never know if it's taken a bump on the trip and something's happened to it. So every single one of these packs that come through the door, we put it through our load bank. Connect this up. Yeah, so you have our battery, we have our load. This, we read the current. And with this, we read the voltage. So this is the voltage, this is the current. Obviously there is the load, even if it's connected, it's not applied yet. So the, it's pretty much fully charged. We are almost fully charged, but there is no load. So as soon as I flick this switch, the current will start going through the load, which means that this will drop a little bit and this it will raise. I stop this to draw around a little bit more than 100 amps. I'm gonna leave it there for about 30 seconds. There we go, that's about yeah, leave it here. however it's... long it is. So now slowly the voltage will go back. As you can see, it's uh, restoring to uh, whatever charge left uh, there is. Give us some sort of point of reference. Cruising around at a steady speed of 20 k's an hour, I think you're only ever drawing about 10 amps thereabouts. So, you know, highly unlikely you're gonna ever need 100 amps or even more for a continuous period like that. So now we're gonna show a uh, slightly better case scenario at about 50 amps. And now we're gonna go and check out the voltage drop in real life. We are gonna go up this hill, starting from this point. So for this setup, we are testing the voltage of uh, the battery straight into this tester, and then we have the camera that records the voltage drop. Oh, it's done. So just to make it clear, I was not full throttle, the board could go faster. It was just very hard to balance and going faster. But if so you're able... So 50-60% I would say yeah, roughly around 50%.
And there you have it folks, a couple of scenarios of how we test for our voltage sag on our battery pack. Now in the actual development process we go through a lot more rigorous testing procedures than that. We test for different speeds, different acceleration rates, different heels, and we implement all that into our control algorithm to limit the, uh, the power delivery depending on what state the battery is in. And we'll go into that in a bit more detail in another video about safety, but uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.